It was an unexpected turn of events. Just when we were preparing for another long van adventure, the garage mechanic told us that something that could end our van life. He refused to actually do the test, the road fitness test, which is called Musaki in Hungarian. Apparently, what's in the logbook must match what is in the van. Uh, so if it just says a van, that means it has to be an empty van. If it's being converted to a camper van, then it has to state that on the logbook and you have to do a quite a complicated procedure to get it registered as a camper van, which we did not do because it was not necessary last time we did the test. So the sad news is we have to take everything out and put it back to the state of an empty van. It was painful to smash what we'd worked on so hard, but we could do nothing. We have no choice but to dismantle it completely or get it recertified. As to what we're going to do after that, we honestly do not know. But one thing is for sure, we needed to take the van for its last adventure trip before we strip it out completely. And we thought about Romania. We always planned to visit Romania, so we thought this is our chance, but only for one week. That's it, just rest our minds and body from the bad news. Okay, Charlie, this is our first aperitivo board in Romania. Yep. About 67 kilometers from Timisoara, and we're now close to the Hungarian border. Nice evening. Okay, one day before the Musaki, a new light, a new we're going to fix a, a new light. Yeah, it's a side light. Yeah. Side light. Okay. Yeah. So this is the one. So this is the one that we bought. We're going to go and go forward now. Bought it from that shop. How strange to see the one this empty. Did you say, say anything about the about the emission? Oh my god. Come on, Sammy. I'll go and pay now.
Hello, fan. I am here. Lid open. Lid open. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale level one. Oh, doesn't like exhaling. See you again. Working. Perfect. And you shall just put it down there. Or hook it down there, down the hole. Come on, have a shower. Let's have a shower. Wouldn't that be worth having a shower? David, you have been walking around? I've been walking around the country. It's my uh, 60, 68 days. It's wonderful. Oh, I'm almost 2,000 kilometers. 2,000 kilometers, wow. Well. And your plan so is to, to buy a van when you finish your walking uh, challenge. Yeah. Take life a bit easier. Yes. I have a van. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, my, that's really my next step. Uh, I'm sure the very next good. in my range. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I thoroughly recommend it and I hope you have many 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 years of happy van life and just, yes as long as you do it cleanly without bothering anybody it's great so, yes yeah, lovely to meet you okay lovely to meet you david okay hope you you finish your your circuit of uh, hungary yep. look at that it's heavy yeah okay so nice nice meeting you bye bye On va partir! Yeah. Voilà! Oh. voilà. <laughs> C'est le grand départ, hein? C'est le grand départ? Oui, oui, le grand départ, mais. Ciao! Merci pour le passage, c'est gentil. Au revoir! Merci pour le Ciao! 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 picnic here in Dandava before we do our shopping. Mm. 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 Get this, this one. Is she? Burek. Burek. Mm. Where is that? Is this the one? Excuse me, people. So yours, it's yours. So it was not a police car. Oh. An unmarked police car. Unmarked police car, unmarked. and then they they came out, uh, yeah. a man and a woman in their police uniforms. Yeah. Now we were always stopped here in Slovenia. You always get stopped in Slovenia and Croatia. You will get stopped in a van always. As soon as you pass a police car, they can't resist stopping you. It's another country, maybe in Austria, but they'll stop us the Austrian police. I'm sure they'll search it at the border, I'm quite sure of that, so I'm prepared for that. Yeah, they asked for Charlie's papers, but they did not even bother to open it. They just saw the blue paper, the blue passport, and that's it. Wow, it's so good to be in Austria. 
everything's so clean and beautiful and uh, well ordered and lovely parking space with water, very clean toilets and shower, not Here's shower, but basins. Uh, excellent facilities, beautiful gardens, beautiful flowers everywhere over the bridge. Uh, it's just too perfect really. And there's no sign saying no dogs on the grass. You're allowed yes. to take them as long as you clear up, clear up after them, which is which is correct. And they have bins everywhere, and it's just a very organised, ordered way of living, I suppose. And there's no mosquitoes, no flies, uh, just breeze. Still bloody hot. <laughs> and there's a water tap there, and I will uh, put my head under it. Yeah, I've just done, this, done that. Put my whole head under the water tap. It's nice cold water. In fact, I'll do it now. Okay. Oh. Oh. oh, so good. My God, this is living, just enjoying. Oh, when it is too hot like this, just put your head under the water. Okay, our first aperitivo board. In Elton Door, Elton Door, I think it is, or something like that, where we stay. Yes. Mm. Howdy. The souvenir. Hello, hello. hello. Beatrice, bye bye. See you. See you in August. You too. Ciao. Bye bye. bye. That's Beatrice, and she just gave us this fig so big. Thank you. 